Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 12 in the Electrical Test Prep Series. Article 215 covers the installation, overcurrent protection, minimum size, and ampacity of conductors feeding branch circuit loads. This is usually a meter panel. Question 1. Feeders of 600 volts and less shall have an ampacity of A. Not less than the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. B. Not less than 125% of the non-continuous load plus the continuous load. C. Will be rated at 125% of the combined branch circuits. D will be rated at 100% of the combined branch circuit. 2. The size of the feeder circuit grounded conductor will not be smaller than A. 10 AWG B. 8 WG C. 6 AWG D. 4 AWG I'll give you a little hint on this. You might want to look at article 392.10 dash B dash 1 dash C number 3 the ampacity of conductors exceeding 600 volts will be in accordance of a article 310.14 and 310.50 article 250.122 and 310.60 C article 310.15 and 310.50 D article 310.15 and 310.60 4 correction factors for feeders over 600 volts will be found in tables 308-60-C-67 68 and 69 B Tables 300.5 C. Table 310.60-C-4 D. Tables 310-60-C-72 and 310.60-C-73 be provided with overcurrent protection that is A. Calculated at 125% of the continuous load plus the non-continuous load B 150% of the continuous load C 125% of the combined branch circuits D 100% of the continuous load and the non-continuous load 6 feeders with a common neutral will be permitted to be installed in the following fashion A 3 sets of 3 wire feeders B. Two sets of four wire feeders. C. Two sets of five wire feeders. D. All of the above. E. None of the above. 7. True or false. All feeders supplying 15 and 20 amp receptacle outlets shall be permitted to be GFI protected in lieu of provisions 210.8 and 590.6-A 8. True or false Each feeder disconnect in excess of 1000 amps or more and grounded to a Y transformer of more than 150 volts to ground but not exceeding 600 volts phase to phase should be provided with ground fault protection of equipment in accordance with article 230-95 consider the exceptions in this question number nine true or false feeders can be derived from auto transformers whether they are grounded together or separately number ten true or false the equipment grounding conductor will be identified in accordance with article 240.119 eleven in a building that has more than one power source that is not interconnected with other sources, A. Each circuit must be identified using approved methods. B. 
Each power source must be identified at the outlet or receptacle. C. Each neutral must be marked as to what phase, system, or line it belongs to. D. All grounds must use blue safety wire. That finishes up Article 215, Feeders. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.